Good morning, everybody. What an absolutely gorgeous day it is here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are in the gold lot just outside the convention center. Welcome to Masonry Madness, Madness and the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host for the event again this year. This is my 10th year here. To my left, he is the VP of Spec Mix, my partner in crime, Brian Carney. And Brian, we have just another great day today, don't we? Yeah, good morning, Tom. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Another action-packed day of Masonry Madness Day. It's unbelievable, and you know, as we go through the years, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And what I think about this year, what stands out more than anything is each of the competitions are stacked with the best of the best. The fastest trial, we've got a couple of past winners that are over there, and I'll tell you what, they're laying a lot of block. All right, now we're going to draw your attention over to the fastest trowel on the block. We're going to be introducing the contestants over there as well. Here we go. Each wall will start with wall number one, and we'll work our way down. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your attention to the Jumbotron, or if you're around the arena by the fastest trowel, here we go. From Zarco Construction, Zach Easley and Tender Patrick Green. Wall number two, from Fairweather Masonry, Shane Riff and Tender John Urban. Wall number three, from Ranch Masonry, Martin Cruz and Tender David Lee Melkor. Wall number four, from Pascal Robertson Masonry, Irvin Willoughby and Tender Lawrence Singleton. Wall number five, from New Way, Howard Cole, and his tender, Martin Avedano. For wall number six, Arch Masonry, Jeff Weeble, and tender, David Camp. Wall number seven from Sutter Masonry, Alvaro Landaverde, and tender, Eriberto Salazar. Also from Sutter Masonry, wall number eight, Arcadio Armenta and Tender Guadalupe Aragon. Wall number nine, Stone Lake Masonry, Keith White and Tender Casey White. Wall number 10 from R&D Masonry, Daniel Corcoran and Tender Darren Stone. Wall number 11 from Wall Masonry, Scott LaCallan. La Calidade and Tender Nicholas La Calidade. Wall number 12 from Hydro Masonry, Jason Ewalt and Tender Mike Sullivan. Wall number 13 from CJS Enterprises, Mike Cañez and Tender Frank Cañez. From Pioneer Masonry, at wall number 14, Alfredo Cardenas and tender Nicholas Castro. Also from Pioneer Masonry, Humberto Cardenas and tender Jose Aguilera. And again from Pioneer, wall number 16, Gaciel Flores and tender Jesus Juarez. Wall number 17, Yoriel Medrano and tender Francisco Sanchez Jr. Wrapping it up with wall number 18, David Reinerson from Sterling Masonry and tender Dante Dixon. Let's have a nice hand for all of our competitors. I need 20 minutes on the screen. There is the clock in the upper right-hand corner. When I say go, that clock will start. They'll have 20 minutes. Good luck, everybody. $8,000 on the line. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck, everybody. If you know what I mean.
All right, checking the clock right now. Looking behind me, we got a little over 17 minutes left for the fastest trial on the block. And, and speaking of block from AZ, best block is Jack Ross. And, and, and Jack, I just can't believe how many block are out there. Thanks so much, man. It's our pleasure to supply the block out here. We've been doing it for a number of years, and we love to support the industry and see these guys in action. It's a real art. You know, it, it, it is an art, and, you know, we were talking earlier when Mike Sutter was going over the rules about, you know, it's not just how fast. It's not just quality, let me lay 10 block. You know, it, it's a combination of both, and we see that more and more, and these guys are getting better and better every year. It's amazing. I mean, it, it is. It's not just about how many block you can lay. You've got everything from your mortar joints and voids to your story and making sure the, 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 the block is at the proper heights and your, uh, just everything from tooling to a finished wall. Yeah, and you know, you have been out here for a few years, and we can't thank you enough once again for supplying the block out here and being such a great sponsor. Thank you so much. What, what do you personally think of this event as you see all this going on? This event is unbelievable. Uh, every year it continues to grow. The, uh, the, the attendance is fantastic. The crowd is awesome. Keep cheering these guys on. We will continue to support this. This is very important and a big part of our industry. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate that. And, and to your right, to my left over here, Bob Thomas with the NCMA, National Concrete Masonry Association. And you guys have a tent over there. They can come over and talk to you. But how you doing, man? Good to have you back. You know, we're fantastic, Tom. This is a thrill to be here. And, you know, sitting beside you here, this is the most fun I've had all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time I promise to wear the showgirls out there just to make it a little bit more exciting. How about I'd that? I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me. What's going on? What's new with the NCMA? Well, you know, first of all, I just wanted to say is, that, you know, on behalf of the National Concrete Masonry Association and all the block producers, we're just so excited to be a part of this event. We see that the role of coordinating the participation between the suppliers, us as the block guys, the brick guys, you know, all the mortar suppliers, the accessories, merging together with the contractors to supply a finished system that is bar none the best thing that you can have out there, produce a durable, resilient type of construction. Um, you know, we got to be working together, and we prove that when we work together, we can do some of these amazing things. Now, if they go over to your tent over there to the NCMA, what kind of information and stuff can they get if they're interested? Well, you know, one of the things that we like to focus on is uh, what we can do to help the designers of, uh, of concrete masonry. But we're also involved in all the other elements that are related to testing concrete products and materials. We've got a research and development laboratory. We're active in developing the ASTM standards. Um, but, you know, what, what we want to do the most is, is help coordinate with the contractors so that we can integrally work with the designers so that they understand how to implement this system together. You know, we've talked a lot about the future and technology. I want to talk to both of you about this. Jack, let me talk to you first. Um, what's, what's the future of block look like? What's going on with Arizona Best Block? It's actually very exciting. Uh, we're starting to see a lot more movement lately, a lot more dirt moving, some more plans coming out. So as the market continues to improve, we anticipate uh, future growth. Uh, and, and like Bob said, I mean, the, the, it's unsurpassed. I mean, it, can't be, it can't be beat in, in stability, longevity, fire ratings. I mean, everything involved with the block. Is, is second to none. Bob, what do you think? Well, you know, the first thing that I want to make sure that we all do is we, we, we recognize that masonry is a, tra a solid traditional building material, but it's also a modern building material. And uh, the, the great thing about an event like this and, and the trade show event is that it, this provides a great opportunity for us to showcase the innovation that is happening in our industry. I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer that if we do not innovate, we will die. And, but death is not on our, uh, you know, in our, in our future. So um, we're going to keep evolving this, this process. And uh, we've got to have innovation on the construction side, innovation on the design side. We need new design resources and tools. And, uh, and this event just really showcases it all. And I'd encourage everybody that's here to seek out those innovations and figure out how to implement them. Great words from both of you. Bob Thomas with the NCMA and Jack Ross with AZ Best Block. Thanks again, guys, for being here. All right, showgirls costume next time. Showgirls <laughs> costume, I promise. Got it. <laughs> All right, looking at the clock, 13 minutes left. Jim O'Connor, I know you're in the mix right there. Uh, what does it look like? These, these guys are flying. They've been, uh, been working very hard. Obviously, some of them have trained uh, on their own, not even at the job site. Uh, I'd like to see if the crowd would, would as excited as we are to see these guys throwing the block and let's hear it. Let's hear it for these guys. Hey, by the time they're over with 120, 130 some block, you're talking about 5,000 pounds. These guys lift in 20 minutes with the block and the mortar and the water that's in the mortar. It's about 5,000 pounds. These guys are moving. They come from all over the country. I'd like to hear another round of applause 
for our block layers. Let's hear it, guys. Woo! Way to go. Thank you, Tom. All right, we, uh, let's see, a uh, little under 12 minutes left, a little under 12 minutes left to go for the fastest trowel on the block. Uh, but right now, we're at the opposite end of the spectrum over here, as you can see. John, I'm kind of out of breath over here. I had to run over here to get you. How you doing this morning? John, John is with Betamax and Hoist, and uh, I see we got our, our demo guy up going out there. How's Betamax doing? Okay, yeah, we just want to make sure we get that microphone up there so everybody hears you. <laughs> now, what, what are some of the, the advantages we're talking about for the end user of the contractor with Betamax? Well, with Betamax hoist on the job side, the contractor can march to his own drummer. He can lift any building at a high rate of speed, and he doesn't need a crane, he doesn't need a forklift or an expensive lull or other rental uh, machines on the site. Now, what, what type of capacity do we have right here that we can use? decided a structure at 80 feet per minute with an adapter we can go to 2,000 feet as well so I could actually get in there right now and you could hoist me up I could but I'm not able to because it's against code yeah <laughs> but you could probably do a couple of me up there couldn't you exactly. that's that's all right now type of lifting power you know is the hoist difficult to install talk about that Or balconies or custom, custom mountings are available as well. Okay, now I understand you guys were involved in a high profile project. Talk to me about the high pro project that Betamax was involved in. I'm happy to be able to say that this particular unit with an advanced VFD controller allows the contractors to vary the speed of the hoist and actually use it with a wireless remote control. And this unit itself now helped clad the upper levels of the New World Trade Center and apply the glass panels to the top floors of the Trade Center at uh, World, uh, World Trade Center Manhattan. Wow, now how, how high were you guys up there? Uh, that was, uh, we're at the 115 stories from what I understand. That's absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna be with you guys a little bit later. We're gonna have some fun with one of your Betamax hoists. What are we gonna see a little bit later on in the program? Uh, we're gonna have a variable speed operating unit on the other end right now as a matter of fact, and we're gonna try to have customers morning, throw baskets into the mud tubs. Okay, now is there any point in time where I might be able to, to utilize that maybe to take laundry from downstairs to upstairs? Sure. I can talk to my wife and get that installed? Sure. If you have P.O. in your pocket right now, we can start talking about it. <laughs> well, John with Betamax, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We'll see you a little bit later on. Let's see that Betamax work again. Bring that down. Bring that down. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. It just keeps working. This is good stuff right there, man. I love it. This is good. All right. Let's take a look at the clock right now. We've got nine minutes. Nine minutes left for the fastest trail on the block. I think to play some music for these guys. Let's get them fired up because there's not much time left and there's $8,000 on the line. Paul, our DJ, let me ask some good music.
About two minutes and 45 seconds left for all of our fastest trail on the block teams. $8,000 on the line. Lay that block, guys. Lay that block. One minute, one minute left. One minute to the fastest child on the block. Let's go, guys. One minute. Seconds, 30 seconds. Twenty. Fifteen seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, trowels up. That is it. Let's hear it for our contestants. Come on, let's hear it, folks. The fastest trowel on the block is officially you. over. And Brian, I know you're right there in the middle of it all. Those guys look pretty whipped, don't they? I'll tell you what, Tom. What an unbelievable event. We have some tired block layers over here. I'm standing with Maroni Mejia. He's our official judge for the fastest trowel on the block. And now... A critical part of the competition is the coin toss. And what is this all about, Maroney? So what we're going to do is we're going to flip a coin to determine which side of the wall will be judged for voids. And that's the side that the competitors will spend uh, the next four minutes tooling and, and improving their voids. So what's heads and what's tails? Heads is the line side. Tails is the board side. Are we ready for this? Cameraman, are you ready? Flip it. Let's see what we got. I'm too old, Maroni. What is that? That's heads. Line we got a head. Okay. So now they're going to tool their line, the line side of the wall, right? Correct. And then the line side of the wall, gentlemen. The line side. All right. They're going to take a little break, guys, and then they'll have four minutes to tool their walls. So they're going to give them a little rest period, get some water on these guys, and then uh, we'll set the clock, and we'll start doing the tooling. All right. Thanks, Brian. I believe Jim O'Connor is down there as well, and... Uh, Jim, do you have a competitor that you can talk to since uh, they're all done? Who do you have with you, Jim? Yeah, thanks, Tom. Um, as I said earlier, these guys throw in about 5,000 pounds worth of materials with the brick, with the block and the mortar. And obviously the water added to the mortar adds some weight to it, and they do it in 20 minutes. Uh, there's quite a few really good walls here. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know where to start. The 8-inch eight, eight block, also NCMA, has a lot to do with this, so I want to thank them for being out here. As well, um, Brian, do, you, do, you, do we want to talk to a competitor? Well, we got one right here, Mr. Mike Conyers. Mike, you actually won this competition, and what year was that? Uh, about 2010, I believe it was. 2010? Have you gained a step? Have you lost a step? What do you think? 
Uh, I'm about to say I get lost of step. <laughs> Mike's still trying to gather his breath down here. I'm telling you, it's a lot of work, huh, Mike? Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, though, you know, preparing. How many did you put in today? Uh, about 118, 19. <laughs> and 20 minutes flat. Yeah. Yes, it was. I used to do 128, so I know I'm losing a step. <laughs> no, no, but the quality is going to be there this year, right? Quality is going to be there. Quality going to be there. Yep. All right. Anything you want to say to the folks back home? Hey, I'm here representing Phoenix, Arizona, so I hope we take it back home. Well, I know you got a special group back there, and I know you're you're battling today in honor of Art Kanye's, and I just know that you got a lot on the line today, and we just hope you do a good job, and we hope that you uh, have a great time here at Main Street Madness. Oh, definitely, definitely, and Art will want to bring it back home to Phoenix, so we'll, we'll give it hell. Uh, he definitely past champion too, right? So anyway, Tom, back to you. Thanks a lot from the fastest travel area. The teams for the fastest trial on the block, they have had their rest, Brian, so I think it's time to put four minutes on the clock and start the tooling, isn't it? Very important part of the wall, Tom, and the whole competition is this right here. They've got to make sure we have, like you said, they don't want any b-holes in this, no tipped block, no lipped block, all that stuff. Plumb level, heights, everything. And we've already flipped the coin. Maroney flipped the coin with you. And just a reminder, what side again? We're going to go the line side. Line side. Okay, so they know. Four minutes on the clock. You can see it in the upper right-hand corner of the Jumbotron. Teams, if you are ready, in five, four, three, two, one, go. Start tooling. you got four minutes. Good luck, everybody. Now, the guys, as they're tooling Brian, we should go over the uh, prize list. Third place is going to get $1,500 in cash, a Marshalltown tool bag, a steel $100 product certificate, and then a third place trophy. What do they got for second, Brian? Second place time is the $2,500 cash, Marshalltown tool bag. It has, it's filled with great stuff. You got a margin trowel, regular trowel tape measure, beaver tail brush joiner and, and uh, the tuck pointer. Steel is giving up a $300 product certificate and of course a second place trophy. Yeah, and then we've got Top Dog is gonna get eight grand in cash. Real nice check there. The Marshalltown ceremonial trowel trophy and tool bag containing all the things that you said. Steel ups it to $500 for the product certificate and a first place trophy. But that's not all, the tender gets something as well, doesn't he? Yeah, the tender, they, they pull in some money as well. Let's see. Uh, You've also got the Marshalltown tool bag containing the trowel margin tape measure and beaver tail brush joiner and tuck pointer as well that goes with the tender. That's right. And I'm That's sure there's right, a little right. cash shared amongst teams there. Well, there? let's hope, right? <laughs> you got to share the love when you're out here working this hard. You got it. About a minute 45 left, guys. Keep tooling. Keep tooling. Let's crank up the music a little bit. Here we go.
done. We have got three of our four contests because the skills challenge officially ends at noon with noon. just a couple of minutes away, man. But That's we've right. got three of the four of Masonry Madness completed. And right now we're going to put those fastest trial judges in those stalls. They're going to do their magic. They're going to look at everything like we talked about, Tom. Make sure we have the best block layer in the world winning this competition and taking home that $8,000 check. Wow, that's nice. Of course, there's three different places for that. More money to go around, but you know, when you're looking at that eight grand, those judges have got to be just right. And I know they're going to be tough on everybody today. All right, here we go. Let's have a nice hand for all of our fastest trail on the block contestants. Remember, these guys are judged in several different categories. Here we go. In third place, from Sorrento, Florida, Pascal Robertson Masonry, Irvin Willoughby. Let's give him a nice hand. Irvin was our last year's champion. Come on down, Irvin. We got some cash ready for you. I see a $1,500 check and more. Nicely done, man. Congratulations. In second place. Congratulations, Irvin. Nice job. From El Mirage, Arizona, Sutter Masonry, Alvaro Lanaverde. Really nice check there that you're holding there for, oh, I don't know, 2,500 beans. Well, they sure do walk slow with they got money waiting for them. I'm telling you what, I'd be running down here. Now in first place, not only do they get a trophy and a steel $500 product certificate, but they also get the Marshalltown Ceremonial Trowel Trophy and the tool bag containing the trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, joiner, and puck, tuck pointer. Yeah. But they also get $8,000 in cash. Your winner, Arcadio Armenta from Sutter Masonry in El Mirage, Arizona. That's a happy looking team right there. Congratulations. Which one of you guys want to hand him the real check? Here it is. Mark? Yeah, Mark. Hey, let's get a nice picture with all of these guys right here all together, all of our winners. Another great year. Thanks so much once again. We had a blast today. We want to thank everybody who came out here again. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, we really appreciate everything. Hopefully we'll see you out here next year for another day of Masonry Madness.